we're seeing planes uh, uh, both take off and land. Uh, we should point out, though, that uh, uh, we just got some updated numbers. Uh, you've had uh, more than 1,500 flights impacted in some fashion as a result of this shooting, and that equates to, to more than 167,000 passengers uh, who were impacted uh, in some fashion. Of course, those who, uh, who really felt it the most were those who were in Terminal 3, and I want you to listen now uh, to one person uh, who described the scene. I ran out onto the tarmac and away from the, the, the terminal where, where the shooting was happening, and as I was running, the police came toward me in you know, their cars racing toward me, and they jumped out of the cars, pulled their guns, and said, you know, hands up, hands up, get down on the ground, face down. And I mean, for, you know, from their perspective, I, I was the first guy running away from this, running across the tarmac, which is obviously not normal. So I laid down on the ground, and basically they just came over to me, and they just said, stay down, stay down. They didn't ask me any questions, and then they put me in handcuffs, and they just basically, they said, stay there. Well, as for the alleged shooter himself, Paul Ciancia, we know that he took several rounds in the chest. At this point, though, we do not have his condition. Allison? Okay, Dan Simon at LAX this morning. Thank you. And we've got new information on the suspect. CNN has learned he may be a conspiracy theorist. Authorities say that they recovered materials from him that contained a rant referencing the New World Order, which conspiracy theorists believe is an elite group bent on world domination. Well, this morning, the suspect is in police custody. Uh, this video, look at it. Uh, this was shot exclusively by CNN affiliate KCAL KCBS. It shows what appears, look close, appears to be the suspect handcuffed to a gurney arriving at the hospital. Now, the FBI has identified the shooter as 23-year-old Paul Anthony Ciancia. He lives in L.A. He's from New Jersey. Authorities also say materials they found on him expressed anti-government sentiments and anger targeted at the TSA. And for a lot of people at LAX, the only plan when they heard those gunshots was run and run fast. And some had, had no idea, you know, where to go, what to do. Did the airport let them down? Let's ask Edward Maselli. He's an airport safety expert and joins me now from Miami. Edward, good morning to you. On a scale of, of 1 to 10, what do you think? How was the response by LAX security yesterday? Good morning, Allison. I think the response from 1 to 10 was actually a 10. Every major airport in the United States has the highest concentration of law enforcement personnel. Between TSA, local police, and Customs and Border Protection, it's just a matter of seconds before local and law enforcement police can apprehend a suspect. What should someone do if they're caught in a situation like what happened on Friday? Well, this is a matter of instinct. The first thing that a human being tends to do is actually to take cover uh, and or to run away, perhaps. Uh, in this case, many people decided to start running, and this could be a problem because if you have law enforcement uh, engaging in a shooting with a suspect, there could be stray bullets flying all over, and uh, the passengers can be hit. But again, this is just a matter of how each individual reacts to the specific situation. How hard do you think it was for police yesterday uh, in this incident to sort of size up what was going on and get, try to get control of the situation? The police handled it very, very well. And again, we have to understand and the, the public, the general public needs to realize that this is a public place. The uh, incident happened outside the uh, passenger checkpoint security area, also known as the sterile area. So it could have happened at a shopping mall, at a parking lot. And uh, again, the difference between these two places that I just mentioned and the airport is the fact that local police are there within seconds. Uh, and they handle it perfect. From what we have seen on the uh, video shots, uh, they handle it very, very good, and uh, thank God nobody else got uh, injured. You know, a lot of people are suggesting uh, that the TSA, the officers, should actually be armed. Do you think that's a good solution? But, you know, would that create more of a crossfire and, and possibly ending with more victims if, if there are more officers with weapons? It's hard to predict. Every law enforcement uh, officer that is trained in weapons handling should know exactly how to handle not only the weapon, but the specific situation. I do believe that uh, customs and border protection agents do have 
guns, and even some TSA officers do carry guns as well. So, mm -hmm. uh, like I said before, this individual or these individuals have a lot of training, including uh, facing situations that are very critical. Okay, Edward Mazzelli in Miami, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Hundreds of people, they were caught in the chaos yesterday. We've seen the video. Most of the airport was evacuated. Now, people were not sure what was happening. They just heard, run.